So my name is John Scott Thompson, and I like disasters. I got a degree in it. And electronic waste is a man-made disaster. And so every year, the human race evolves. We get more technology. And as we create new technology, old technology just runs away. As you can see, we have piles of it. So how many people here have some type of electronic at home they don't use? Raise your hand. So we all have some type of electronic waste sitting in a drawer, in a closet. I mean, it's everywhere because we're always getting the newest devices as they come out. So e-waste is defined as electronics that are nearing their end of life or are at their end of life. And actually, electronic waste is the largest municipal waste stream in America, our fastest growing waste stream in America, according to the FDA. We dispose of around 2 million tons of electronic waste a year, and that represents only 2% of our waste stream. But in that 2%, it accounts for 70% of the overall toxic waste that enters our environment through the soil and the air. And so of that 2 million, 80 to 85% of this electronics are put in landfills, are, are burned. And so this releases certain toxins in the air, the water, the soil. And the amount of lead alone in these electronics can affect all your different bodily functions. So this is a list you can't really see of all the uh, chemicals that are in electronics, but it's going to affect every single one of your bodily organs and systems, from your blood to your kidneys, everywhere. So cell phones play a big part in this. So this year, we will see about 240 million cell phones sold around the world. And so a lot of these cell phones, we are becoming obsolete within one to three years. And why are we becoming obsolete? Because AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, everybody's advertising, get it now, upgrade, 99 cents, you have to have it. Apple's coming out with new products constantly, and you want it. You work hard for your money, you deserve nice things. So let's talk about 130 million cell phones are thrown away every year. So 6,000 cell phones equal about $15,000 in precious metals that could be recovered. Now, if we do all the math, that's $325 million. So where are all these electronics going? Well, we find that the EPA thinks that about three-fourths of all the computers ever bought are just sitting in our closets at home or in our garages, which for me, that's a good thing. I'd rather you keep it in a closet buried away than you throw it away in the trash. Because right now, we're not sophisticated enough in recycling that we can really make a big impact. There are some ways, but it's just the technology isn't there yet. But e-waste is routinely exported by developed countries to developing ones often in violation of international law. In the U.S., what we recycle, actually 50 to 80 percent of that is actually being exported illegally just because it's a blind eye. So a lot of this stuff, as you see, is going to go to China, India, and Pakistan. Now, why China is the largest producer of e-waste, North America and Europe are second and third, and they're just shipping everything. And so I want to introduce you to Gaidi, which is the e-waste capital of the world. There's 100,000 people there whose jobs revolve around breaking down electronics. These people are peasant farmers that came in, and they're getting about $8 a day, which is five times what they're used to making, but they're making five times that at a serious health cost to themselves. A lot of them suffer from neurological, respiratory, or digestive abnormality. So hopefully now you're thinking, what can I do? You know, and there, there are answers to this. And so I would like to share with you right now that what we can do is we can come on slide. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And now I just want to address recycle. I know that it said earlier that 50 to 80 percent is exported, but I want to introduce other ways that you can make sure you're doing the right thing if you do recycle. But first you want to reduce. If it's broke, Fix it. Don't go buy something new. Waste your money. Spend $75 to get your screen fixed. Buy refurbished. It comes with the same warranty usually, and it's a little bit cheaper, and it's a, another product that that's not created in the world that's going to go to waste. For reuse, I suggest donate your computers to nonprofits because they're always looking for technology because they don't have the money. Give your phone to somebody who can use it beside yourself when you get a new one, or take old electronics and make art. So for recycling, if you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing when you recycle, 
look for organizations that are Art Institute certified or these steward certified, and these people are going to be doing the right thing and making sure it's contained in the United States and that it's disposed of and toxic material is actually not getting into the environment.